Hey, welcome to this all about you family morning, morning show. Good amen. Morning. We ready to get this started. Amen. Happy Tuesday. We got our guests in the house already. Yes. And happy Tuesday yes. in the morning. Good amen. Morning. Let's go with a quick praise and worship song. My co-host, Brother Olu Jabari, gonna Good come morning. with our scripture. And our dear sister Regina's evangelist Regina is gonna come with our prayer. Amen. amen. Something Hallelujah. my mother would say. In the name of Jesus. I like it. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's in the name of Jesus, yes. in the name of Jesus, Satan, you have to flee. Oh, tell me mm -hmm. who can stand me mm -hmm. for us when we call on that great name. Jesus, mm -hmm. Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. You know what my mama says? She What's says, say? come in and go with me yeah. to my father's house. On, oh, to my father's house. Oh, to my father's house. Come in and go with me, mm -hmm. Lord, to my father's house. There is peace, peace. Oh, yeah. I got a mother over there, Lord, in my father's. Yeah. Oh, yes, she's in my father's house. Mm -hmm. In my father's house. I have a mother over there, Lord, in my father's house. Yeah. There is peace, peace. I will enter, I will enter his gates yeah. with thanksgiving in my heart. Whoa. I will enter Whoa. his courts with praise. Yes. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. Yes. I will Whoa. rejoice for he has made me glad. Come on, even at home, put your hands together. Amen. Our scripture and prayer. Amen. Amen. This is our scripture. I'm Olu Jabari, your co-host, and we're going to go to Matthew 22, 37. Mm. It says, love the Lord your God with all your heart yes. and with all your soul ha. and with all your mind. Yes. This is the first and greatest commandment. Amen. Amen. Wow. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, we thank you this morning for praise and worship, Lord yes. God. Give you all the yes. glory and all the honor today, ah, Lord yeah. God. Thank we you. thank you for planting our feet, Lord God. <laughs> oh, by the rivers of water, Lord God, that we can bring fruit, our fruit forth, Lord God, in yes. the name of Jesus. Yes, we thank you for courage. We thank you for strength, Pastor. <laughs> we thank you for waking up in our right mm. minds, oh God. Thank you for blessing us with the challenges of the day, Lord yes, God, knowing that you God, are yes. our God. He said to love you with thank all you, of our hearts. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, we give it all to you this morning <laughs> in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That you will bless it, Lord God, yes. anoint it, and send the favor that you <laughs> love all throughout this nation, Lord God. We thank yes. you and praise your holy name in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God Glory to be God. to God. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, yes. Yes. Good yes. Good morning. Woo! Tuesday. Woo. Morning. Good morning. It's morning time. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Welcome Hallelujah. again to this All About You Family Radio Let's get Show. It. Amen. Where well, we have come here today to give God praise and glory and <laughs> yes. honor, right? Yes. My yes. name is Pastor Clara Mitchell. I'm Pastor, what's the name? I, yeah, True Vision True Vision. <laughs> Community <laughs> Church. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Located at 14105 Kirchhoff at the corner of East Line. Yes. Amen. Right on the east side of Detroit. And here's my co host. Yes, I'm your co host host Olu Jabari out of Sterling Heights, Michigan. Of course, everybody knows about the World Championship Martial Arts Come on. Uh, in Sterling Heights, but we are really from Detroit, which is where we started. Amen. want to remember, let people know that they can always reach us at 313-868-0342 or 313-868-0351 uh -huh. and 313-868-4336. Um, also, we want to make sure that they continue to reach out to the to RJ because uh, yes. you know RJ is, is, is just awesome. Yes, sir. Please be sure to watch us 15.2 regular television, Ruku stream under RJ Watkins fan <laughs> page in parentheses with a QR code. Come on, we now. got QR codes. Come now. on now, why? <laughs> I love it. Hey, Amen. God bless you on today. We, uh, elders, um, <laughs> Regina is going. We always have a challenge for the yes. week, right? Yes. And Lord, so this God. one comes from God made it fail. Okay. God made it fail. Everything, Everything. that the devil tried, God made it fail. Wow. Right? Amen. Only God. And then what? And it has an end on it. it okay. It really goes. 
God made it fair. Mm -hmm. God made it fair. Yes. I'm saying to you, everything that the devil tried, God made it fair. Yes. God made it fair. Come on. God made it fail. Yes. He made it fail. Everything that the devil tried, hey. God made it. Uh, come on, man. man, you can't look. You can't let me say that song too many times. It I don't just have took to off be a running. Sunday. It oh don't God, have to be a Sunday. I take off running. Amen. Do God it. bless you. Amen. Just run back Amen. in here when you finish running. <laughs> Amen. Hold it down, Olu. I'm gone. You. Amen. Go ahead. Because when I think about everything that God has done, yes. Amen. Not yesterday, but today alone. Yes. Amen. Sure. Right now, this hour, you waking up in the morning, starting yes. God, starting you on your way. The where the devil thought he had you, boo, mm. you got away with the songwriter say the devil tried to trick you. Well, but you slipped away. Why? Because you're no longer bound in sin. Yes. You got Christ within. And you just can't keep it to yourself. We can't keep it to ourselves. Teach. We have to keep running and telling somebody else that we got the victory, the <laughs> V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. Yes. And Regina, please come with our, our challenge for this week. I'm ready on this one, boo. I you got sure? you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When you said that about the devil, I started thinking. I said, let's go over here to Psalm 27, 14 and get some mm -hmm. confirmation. Uh -oh. See? He said, wait on the Lord. Uh, Be of good courage, courage. And he shall strengthen thine heart. Yeah. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Wait, now, I what say. is our waiting period? Is it a break time? Is it a lunch time? Is Ooh. it 24 hours in a day? Ooh. Is it 30 days in a month? Is it 365 days mm. in a year? Because the enemy will come back. Yes. That's one thing we have to be very clear about. And our challenge for this week is uh, it's all good. You may have to wait. You may have to wait uh, on break time, lunch time, 24 hours, 30 <laughs> days, or 365 days. Oh, but Jesus lets us know what we do when the enemy tries to come into yes. the camp. It mm. will indeed turn around. When we look into Luke 4, 13, Jesus waited and Satan had no other choice but to flee. <laughs> he stood in the word of God, flat unmovable, in good courage. Yes. Mm -hmm. When we resist the devil, he will flee in James 4 and 7. Mm. So it's all good. Uh, what, how long you have to wait? Don't worry yourself. Strengthen and courage. Get your heart right. Get ah, your mind right. Yeah. And wait, I say, on the Lord. Mm. Psalm 2714 is the anchor for your soul as you go through this challenge this week. It's all good. You ah, may have to wait. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Amen. You wait in Tennessee and we're going to wait here in Michigan. Amen. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. Y'all enjoy your day. I love y'all all. God bless you. When you think about, when you think about the, what God done, God Amen. made it fail. Yes. Everything that's not like him. And so, so many things. People, he thought he had our hearts, well, our minds. Some of it, 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 it runs in some of our families. Amen. Sure. Amen. But the devil didn't have us. Okay. He, yeah. God, we slipped away. Amen. So we got Amen. the victory. So you got to know. Say with me, my brother said, God made it fail. God made it fail. God made it fail. Yes. Amen. Yes. Everything. Say everything. everything. Like my mom would say, everything. Everything. That the devil tried. That the devil God tried. Made it God fail. made it fail. Amen. I like that. Amen. God is good. Yeah. We got so much to do. We have a long show and instead of in, in store for you on today, we have the very own woo woo. come on somebody. Superstar. Bishop Vaughn in the yes, house. There we go. Amen. <laughs> Shalanda Buckman yes. in the house. Shalanda. And we're also gonna have um our principal Ross Terry on the line sharing with us. Well, we have the pleasure yes. of serving as their partner. Amen. That's Through good. GPS. Amen. Yeah. And we do the after school program Monday, Tuesday, Thursday okay. from 245 to 445 where it is the best program. after school program. That's right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> we still recruit new kids, but we know for sure that when we come back from this commercial break, Absolutely. we'll be able to share and take more. And we want you to get your pencil and pen together because this is a time to know not only is it just our Tuesday, mm -hmm. but it's also an opportunity for us to find out what count day really is about. I Amen. Like it. Stay tuned. We got you. That's like never thought he had well, DPS years ago. We were kids. Thought. Amen. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> but guess what? It failed. Yeah. How I know it failed because we're all products yeah, of right. it. Amen. Everybody right. in this room, products of it on today. Of Amen. Yes. So when we come right back, we're going to get ready to have a powerful time. I like and it. remember, 
God made it fail. We'll be right back, family. Stay with us. Welcome, Judge Mathis. Thanks for coming to share an important message with the Wayne County taxpayers. Well, thank you for allowing me to help because Treasurer Shabri wants to work with Wayne County homeowners to keep families in their homes and prevent foreclosure. If you're having trouble making your property tax payments, let us know. We have many resources to help. Already in the payment plan? It's important you stay in good standing. Contact us at 313-224-5990 or email us at taxinfo at waynecounty.com. Have you ever wanted your own TV show? Have you dreamed of showcasing your talent for the world to see? Well, now you can. Have your own TV show. You can have your own 30-minute show. Not only will you be seen in the Detroit area, but you can be viewed worldwide. For more information, call 313-868-6612. Visit our studios and receive a free TV interview to promote your business, church, or organization by appointment only. Hi, this is Lawanda. This is RJ Watkins. Coming to you to bring you some information about the number one detox in the nation, Lemon Burn. Lemon Burn helps to turn the fat into fit. It's for you, a happier, healthier you. Because you know healthy is the new beautiful. An all-natural way to improve your health. It promotes a healthy digestive system, attacks and reduces belly fat, as well as gives you energy. You need to get yours today. Call 313-868-6612. Don't forget to exercise and eat right. Watch WHPR and TV 33 when you want, where you want, how you want. WHPR is now in your pocket. Download our free app by going to the App Store or Google Play and enter WHPR TV in the search engine. And there we are. You can download WHPR TV or radio. You heard about it. Now come be a part of it. Roku Detroit Worldwide. Approximately 8 million viewers. TV 33 is moving to WHPS TV channel 15.2. Make sure to rescan the channels on your TV. Then go to WHPS channel 15.2 to pick up TV 33 and all of your favorite shows. The move is on, and we want you to move with us to WHPS channel 15.2. you family morning tv show amen amen we're so glad to have you back we're so glad to have my dear sister in the house with me today sister shalanda buckman amen hey. and oh my god this is like wow wow Amen. Well, like it, going it, all the way back. Go well, way, I know all the way back. Like. I feel like it's some stuff you didn't tell me because I didn't know you had those kind of vocals. I oh didn't know my god, she could sing like this. And oh so my god, I'm just, I'm just really elated. It's a great way to start the morning, just being filled with the spirit and listening to scriptures and. Uh, ultimately getting us ready we we stand prayed up for tomorrow yes. that we get all our babies in school come on now <laughs> absolutely i'm so glad to have you guys here absolutely. i thank god for you i thank god thank for you. your consistency Thank you. And even going down to me leaving, going to Florida, going down Georgia, back down to, to Virginia, back to Michigan, and you in the same place That's doing right. the same thing. That's right. And That's we're right. so proud of you. Thank you. We want you to know how proud of you we are. Thank you, Amen. Claire. Well, what a wonderful, wonderful example you have been. 
and about Thank how you. how you do those programs and how you stand for those kids. Amen. Thank and you. I get a chance to see you on the other side That's right. as I serve and be on the committee with you for the face base. Right. Uh, Absolutely. And we had a wonderful meeting just on yesterday. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. So I'm not gonna read your bio because people bio is bio. That's right. But I just want to say myself on behalf of myself and Maxine Willis and Olu Jabarbi and Shirley, Mr. R. J. Watkins, we are proud of the success you've done with Thank Detroit Public Schools. Thank you. Thank you Amen. so much. Woo! You know, I, I will just say the only thing people that, that I would want to elevate is just it's a privilege and it's an honor to serve. And when I think about it from a spiritual standpoint, I think mm -hmm. it's about intentionality. I think everybody's steps are ordered. Yes. And so when I think about having served my city over 30 years, mm -hmm. it all tracks back to my childhood mm -hmm. and being in a school system mm -hmm. that quite honestly, I was very challenged by. Mm -hmm. And so to fast forward 35 years and find myself in a position to be able to help young people who yeah. went through some of the things I went through, it means everything. Mm. And so for me, everything that I build and grow and do and how I engage and serve our families mm -hmm. has everything to do with what they deserve mm -hmm. and my own pathway having informed what our families need to stay strong right. and be present for their children mm -hmm. and so um, we are at another pivotal point in the district where we are always looking at how we bolster attendance right mm -hmm. I always tell people my parents must have hated me when I was little because <laughs> they made me go to school every, every single day okay when and snow, mom I got a headache they're like okay well here's a little puss of vast Vaseline on your head, you want to school. Uh, Mom, it's, it's cold outside. Put this hat on and right. a hat and some Vaseline Don't and you go to school. In the cash store. Right, exactly. Right. Mom, the snow is, is eight feet high. Uh, well, your dad is going to shovel a little right. pathway and you go into school. And so there was no school exception. School ain't closed. The school ain't closed. <laughs> right. You think it's closed? Well, just go to school. And if it's closed, we'll come out back. Right, exactly. And we walked quite a distance. Yes. But there there's always been a commitment. Mm -hmm. And our family didn't have a lot when I was growing up. But mm -hmm. what we like did have was values mm -hmm. um, that really propelled us in the space of education yes. Our parent, my mother didn't go as far in school, but she made sure we had a homework time. Mm -hmm. She checked my homework. Mm -hmm. um, she made sure we had a little healthy snack on the mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. We had nap time and all these other kinds mm -hmm. of structures. But all of it was about making sure that we were positioned well um, to do well in school. Yes. And so um, so some of the things that even that my mother modeled for mm -hmm. me, uh, we try to put in place. Uh, right now in the district, we have been very challenged with chronic absenteeism. Yes. And people will probably be surprised to hear that our, our biggest numbers in terms of students who are not in school every day is really in the kindergarten through third grade space. Really? And so it's very disheartening. And so what we've tried to do is build supports around mm -hmm. um, our, our students and our families that will eliminate barriers to them being in mm -hmm. school. And mm -hmm. one of those supports has been our family resource support sensors. We okay. started with one during the pandemic mm. because we realized very quickly there was no nobody. Everybody was helping, right? Yes, you know, you yes. had different organizations yes, helping, but when yes. we have 50,000 children, we needed to help ourselves. And so we activated volunteers oh, and our faith-based yes, partners come on now, and, come on. and parents. And yes. we got out here in these neighborhoods and we were taking and food to students. Yes. And so we started a family resource center because we realized sometimes people just need a little bit of help, Come right? Um, to Come get time. to the next point. And yes. if we can provide our families with that support, it helps them stay focused on making sure the, the kids oh are God. present and in school every single day. Whether it's uniforms, um, I've had parents that say, hey, I need a bus card to find mm -hmm. a job. You know, mm -hmm. we've been able to help in some ways with those kinds of things. Um, even with our systems, we have partners like United Way and mm -hmm. uh, our food banks, Gleaners mm -hmm. and Forgotten Harvest. Um, and sometimes it's a little bit of a process. And so mm -hmm. what our centers do is they fill the gap immediately while we connect families Got to you. services. Got so you. we went from one to expanding to an additional six within our feeder high school. So Southeastern, Central Durfee, East English Village. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a number of them around the district. And so um, my message this morning to parents is just make sure your kids are in school every single day. every day and if you need support reach out um mm -hmm. they can call our office of family and community engagement um and i'll share the number it's 313-873-7490 sure. mm -hmm. you know you don't have to sit in isolation we all go through things we all have challenges um more often than not we we it's about positioning our children for success yes. and that really starts education is still the pathway yes. to have a better life and yes. so 
we um, can do our job and we've gotten so much better in the district just having you know seven women on our mm -hmm. board leading a mm -hmm. superintendent that's intentional yes. about building pathways to success but we need our parents to make sure our children in school every single day and if you need support you know, reach out. And my position with our team is always to say yes as often as we can and every single time we can so that we're supporting you to support your student success. So call our office, 313-873-7490, and we will do our best to eliminate whatever barriers are keeping you from bringing your children to school every single day. Tomorrow is count day. Right. So please be in school tomorrow <laughs> because I make no apology that it no. takes money to educate children. Absolutely. And we have a fall count day, but tomorrow is our winter count day and it is directly tied to resources to the district so please please make sure your kids are in school tomorrow and every day every day because it matters and i can say that a lot of times people say call our office call our team that's right but i can say personally that they actually call you back oh yeah you oh, know yeah. you you have a phenomenal team i, I enjoy working with them yeah. all yeah that's even right. seeing them different schools and that's having right. the opportunity to do the narcan training with them as well yep. but i thank god for the togetherness you right. know it's like if they don't know they'll find out that's right it's the One spirit thing, of yes, service yes, it is it, it is, is believing obvious. and knowing that but for him that we would all be in a mm -hmm. different situation sure. and so if you're in position you're not in position to take care of yourself of you in position to take care of our families and our children and that's how we serve and that's and just know outside of your office and outside of y'all mm -hmm. your space with them yeah that's what goes out yeah, when good, we see them good. in the school you can feel it that's good and i'm that's grateful good. even for the parent liaisons that's in the school i had a chance to work with many of them yeah. this school year and last year mm -hmm. so that was a treat that as means well. all my lecture and work all your <laughs> lecture work they yeah they, no, they really yeah. are a gift because i'll yes. tell people in a minute our that's parents so saved our butt during the pandemic yes. it was my parents out there first who were knocking on doors and doing wellness checks mm -hmm. and pulling parents out of isolation mm -hmm. into conversations um teaching them how to use technology and to navigate systems that were uncomfortable for us right, right. and so one of the things that we've been able to support and maintain is recognizing that our parents um, are one of the biggest assets we have. Mm -hmm. And so we now have a parent um, outreach coordinator at every single school. And okay. that is a you know great opportunity yes. that's become a pipeline yes. for other positions. Um, our parents have moved into um, security and um, some of the pre-K teaching positions, which really puts them on a pathway to do other things. It goes back to investing in folks who are investing their best with us. And that's the their children. I right? ran into uh, security. One of the parents was security uh -huh. at um, Brenda Scott School. <laughs> she wasn't playing. Was she, she was not playing at all. <laughs> and I, we know you, but tell our listeners and our viewers who you are. I mean, that's right who are okay. you that's important who are you <laughs> what's your name again i i am i am a child of god yes, let's start sorry. there okay good. i am the daughter of michael douglas Come gillis who god help me yes. is not here anymore and gertrude's daughter but um all of that means just um being a person that has um spent their life mm -hmm. paying it for for mm -hmm. all the community that came mm -hmm. together to support me so charlotte buckman i serve as assistant superintendent uh, in the school district now and like I said it's a privilege to serve before that I um, led Detroit Parent Network for almost 14 years mm -hmm. um, and was very instrumental in part of the coalition for Detroit school children with lots of organizations and and fighters around the city to get our school district back under local control mm -hmm. um, to have the state be accountable for the debt in which they actually created um, and to make sure we were in a position to lead our children and so very proud of that work and you know always tell people it's not about what you did yesterday it's about what you're going to do now and so every day coming to this work with the idea that mm -hmm. i owe to pay it forward mm -hmm. and then i'm gonna do everything while this is on my watch yes. um, to position our children to win i need our parents to meet us halfway um and and just make sure your babies are in school every day it matters i got a chance to meet the superintendent during our our That's meetings right. okay and it was just something different about him that I had never felt from any other district. Yeah. And yeah. even in other states, they have yeah. not. It's just something about his presence. Yeah. You I know, and I, I felt secure Yeah. that things was really going to get better. 
Absolutely. You know? And they have gotten yes, better, quite absolutely. honestly. And he's absolutely. the first to admit that he doesn't have all the answers. Mm -hmm. But I think if you are intentional about listening, right. if you are intentional about strategies, like one of the things that we talked about early on, uh, we were having an informal conversation. And, and when he asked me, he said, I got another question for you. And I said, what is it? I'm the queen of unsolicited opinions about everything. <laughs> and he says, would you join my team? I said, let me think about that for <laughs> right. a minute. You know? And and then, you know, it was, it was at a point where I'm like, well, you know what? This is an opportunity to scale mm -hmm. many of the best practices that right. we were able to refine at Absolutely. Detroit Parent Network, right? Absolutely. And so one of the things that we intentionally talked about was building a faith-based council mm -hmm. that we knew that our churches have been in and around our schools oh, covering yes. our children, oh, yeah. um, you know, just for many, many years. It's always been um, what part of what the, the churches have mm -hmm. done. And so mm -hmm. what would it look like to be intentional, back to that spe right. space, to make sure every school had every a faith-based partner, mm -hmm. right? Um, and what they do is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You just mentioned a meeting we yes. had yesterday. Yes. Um, talk about making sure our students have uniforms, closing mm -hmm. gaps where yes. parents may not be able to afford some of these things, making sure that there is a college-going cult mm -hmm. culture. Mm -hmm. um, Principal Tipton shared at Pershing where the walls were empty and oh, yeah. Pastor Sterling yes. brought out all the Absolutely. signage for the colleges Absolutely. so that we are imprinting on our young people mm -hmm. that you know um, college is accessible to you. Yes. That is a pathway way for you along with trades and other kinds of things but you should be college ready yes absolutely um, so I think when you talk about um, our superintendent and just yes. the intentionality around mm -hmm. raising academic, mm -hmm. uh, you know, raising the achievement of yes. our young people, yes. um, the intentionality around how we partner with different organizations right. um, to help fill those gaps and just recognizing that we can't do this alone. No. You know, when you talk about 50,000 children, 110 buildings every single day, there's never a dull moment. And um, <laughs> But we love it all. We love it all because we came here under understanding that we were going to be building this thing mm -hmm. as we um, continue to go. And and, and you get we, really crafty at it. <laughs> you got to you, you have to. And as we get ready to go on to the, our commercial break, I just want to say even to our faith base, you know, and we're the smallest church on the east side of Detroit. But with we the biggest can do heart, it. The biggest heart. Do it. Anybody can do it. Amen? That's right. That's even right. Even on yesterday, we, we were working with kids because even though, yeah. you know, you got the electronic banking, all that online, you That's know, we right. got, we talked about um, deposit slips yesterday, withdrawal slips. Yeah, we gave them skills. money and all those things. That's right. So we want them to, you got to work that out. Life skills. You we got don't to need have you those. banking yeah. and checks cash. We need you banking with financial yes. institutions yes, or credit right. unions. That's right. And that is, that's a perfect yes. example yes. of just sharing information because yes. it's not just about your money. No. It's about your time. You can right. come into our district and help with lunch duty. Right. You can come in and mentor young people. Yes. Uh, we have a literacy support program. Mm -hmm. uh, Bishop uh, and I have been very intentional about around working with our yes. homeless families is led by Michelle Parker in our district. We now identified over 3,000 uh, families that yeah, are homeless in our gosh. district and that number is growing and yes. so again being intentional about building the supports that our families need to position their children to be successful. We be in school you. every day. Every school. I can't say that enough. And to our partners <laughs> and to our churches and organizations get busy. That's there's right. there's That's enough right. of us in here that it should not be any school that does not have a faith-based partner. We Amen? still have about 40 schools yeah. that, that need a partner. So we need 40, y'all. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so we need, we need some folks so to step up. Shalanda, I could talk to you all day, girl. You know me and you I can do know, this all day. I know. We are both chatterboxes. I know. <laughs> But we love what we do, amen. Right. The, the That's mission, right. our, our situations, right. titles have not changed. But guess what? The, they have changed, but our mission have not changed. That's right. That's amen. Right. So That's thank right. you for joining us this thank morning. Thank you so we're much have you for come having back me. In. It's such and a we're privilege. we're going to have um, our, our co-hosts to come, and we're going to have um, Bishop Vaughn to come. I the know, good bishop. The good oh, bishop. Oh, I can't wait come for you to talk now. to her. Oh, and she's going to bring I, the fire. I, I told That's Maxine. That's my partner in crime in the district. I told district. Maxine. I said, oh, my God. I hope I got the right title. God made it fail. Oh, she's been over there co-preaching with you. That's right. That was something title for her to have yeah her you house. got her lifted we in here we will we're right back family yeah. god Thank bless you so you, much sister. god bless you <laughs>
In the world of digital broadcasting, transmitters and exciters sometimes do this. If this happens when you're watching WHPR TV 33, please do this. Watch us on Fire Stick, Roku, Apple TV, Google TV, or TV 33 WHPR.com. Download the WHPR TV app, and we can also be heard on Amazon Echo. So remember, if you see this, you can do this and support the station that supports you. I'm Deborah Geraldine Bledsoe Ford, and I'm going to tell you about Michigan's other first family of law. My grandfather, attorney Harold Bledsoe, became the first assistant attorney general in the state of Michigan. Two of his three children were judges, Geraldine Bledsoe Ford and William Felga Bledsoe. My husband, attorney Jerome Watson, was one of the first black partners in Miller Campfield, and I became a judge in 2005 following in my family's footsteps. Corrine Jackson thought she had it all until she was faced with the challenges of raising an autistic child. Inspired by autism is her brutally honest journey filled with heartbreak and triumph. Get your copy and find the support you deserve today by visiting www.claudinejackson.tv Have you ever wanted your own TV show? Have you dreamed of showcasing your talent for the world to see? Well, now you can. Have your own TV show. You can have your own 30-minute show. Not only will you be seen in the Detroit area, but you can be viewed worldwide. For more information, call 313-868-6612. Visit our studios and receive a free TV interview to promote your business, church, or organization by appointment only. Welcome back. Morning show. Oh my God. Oh man. Shalonda Buckman. Superintendent for the Detroit Public Schools. She is awesome. And what an awesome thing. And we said to her while she was up here, Lou. Yeah. But we're saying it now again. We are proud of her. Yeah. She. People don't understand where we we come from with her. Yes. So they don't understand that part. Way back when, right? And to be able to see her standing there. Yeah. And then uh, I just wanted to one of the things I did not mention while she was on. I had the opportunity to go to your Sunday movie. Hmm. I got a chance to go see the movie. Okay. Oh man, that one, that was an awesome movie. I thank you for the popcorn, all that. <laughs> My thighs weren't too good about it, but anyway, oh, that was okay. The popcorn and the gift card that I got, got a gift that card. I can go, I can. I went back to the reception stand, so not only did I get a movie, I got a gift card awesome. to go pay for the snacks. Wow, Amen. Praise wow. God. Amen. But the most part about it, the end, to hear your staff and your team interact with the parents. Mm-hmm and the teachers that was in the room, and the questions that they asked about the movie. That was so powerful. I wanted to say that openly, that there's events like that that we miss out on. Oh, yeah. And she was like, what you doing here? I'm like, I was not missing. I know I planned too much stuff. So I try not to miss nothing nobody else have, because I know how much it takes to do that. And we're so Honored. I had to get Shalanda out the way for a minute, right? <laughs> That's the impossible. The NRs, right? You love Shalanda. Yes. You know oh, my God. But... I I am so overwhelmed. Yes. To have you, Bishop. Oh wow! Thank here you. with us. Yes. Thank you. Oh, the what only, an honor. the one and only. Yes. The proper interjection. Give them a good one. Yes. <laughs> I, you know they have all those things, those accolades and all that, uh-huh. and you know who she is, right. um, Bishop Doctor Coletta Vaughn. Oh. Amen. Amen. The senior pastor of the Holy Ghost mm. Cathedral yes, Church. Man. Ooh, that's shaking on West, on West Grand, East, East Grand, Grand Boulevard, Boulevard, right at Mount Elliot, right? <laughs> She's the presiding bishop um, to go tell it, evangelists, evangelistic ministry, worldwide network of churches. Mm. Woo! Amen. Wow. For over 45 years. Amen. I'm only 58. I'm wow. Oh, okay. So I've been knowing you most of my entire <laughs> <of my> life. <laughs> 
That's a long time. Whole life. My whole life. Yes. And it just and it just like we were saying in the opening, how God has allowed this to become a, a whole circle. Yes. yes. A full circle. And when you talk about our our leader, R.J. Watkins, and yes. how it's all started. Amen. Yes. Wow. Amen. And how who would thought back in the day when you was dancing on the scene? Don't tell everybody my secrets. <laughs> Don't tell Shalanda that. Please. Wow, you was dancing oh, on the Lord. scene, right? You was dancing on the scene. Who would ever thought he gonna be on this Christian? He gonna be on this Christian show. Tell him, praise him, praise Look, him. Things you, you don't say. know, right? <laughs> Man, right, Shalanda, you hold on to that. Right, one. right. <laughs> Do not tell nobody that he was on the scene. Amen. I was. What, and who who was scene star? Well, R.J. Watkins, R. J. right? Watkins. What better place to be? If you're looking for somewhere to have your shows, I'm telling you from the bottom of my this heart. Because we have our Saturday show. We've been running since 2016. Yeah. It's all about you, family radio show. Yes. Amen. So, so this is a blessing. He has allowed this this avenue for us to come to for share sure. and sure. to be able to highlight like these kind of thing because count day is important yeah. Yeah. we very. want stuff to happen very but you got to do the count day very we got to have so that. what better person to have to talk about count day than the only one <laughs> mm. uh -uh. I'm, i got the whole thing east side mm. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 i had to calm myself we put her in the middle so we wouldn't so she couldn't shout us out of here that's now, right I, so i had to, i had to, i had to woo saw myself <laughs> Love it. Love it. So we're going to turn it over to you because me yes, and Olu will talk all. I'm going to leave it to you and Olu. Come Amen. on, doctor. Talk to us. Listen, first of all, thank you all so very much. And shout out to R.J. Watkins. Yeah. Here. He is Woo! a pioneer. Yeah. A pioneer uh, in uh, television yes. and community networking. Yes. I, I remember when we all started, you know, on, so now. I go back a long way. So okay. shout out to him yeah. and for the continuation of this amazing network uh, and for this opportunity, Pastor, uh, to be here for us yes. uh, because, you know, being a Christian uh, worldview kind of preacher, teacher, mm -hmm. yeah. leader in the community, mm -hmm. and to have a place to have a voice yes. Yes. Uh, was not always available. Oh, uh, R.J. Oh, Watkins opened up a lot of yes. doors yes. Yes. for yes. Christian TV, for, for Christian sure. ministers to have an opportunity yes. to grow our churches, to grow our yes. ministries, to build our community, and to build our schools. Yes. So we want to shout out to him, <laughs> right? Shout out. Always. Absolutely. Always. And so I'm here today uh, as a board member mm -hmm. and elected board member. I'm in my second term right uh, at now. DPSCD. All right. Come on now. And when uh, children rise, we all rise. I like yes. that. And so I'm here to talk about account day and the very vital importance mm. of children being in attendance yes. every day. Every day. You know, uh, we have the data that proves that if a child misses nine days of school in a school year, mm. they are considered chronically absent wow. and it impacts their overall grade point average. Wow. Did you know that if a child misses nine days? Nine, nine days. days. We nine days. Nine days. Almost two weeks. Okay. Okay. If you miss nine days sporadically or consistently, nine days of absenteeism for mm -hmm. a child mm -hmm. can lower their grades in reading and math, science, history. It also compromises their social skills, oh their interaction skills. Yeah. And so we as a district, as a a board and superintendent team, mm -hmm. we are very, very focused yes. on getting our children in school every day. Every day. Yes. And I want to say to pastors, you can help us. Okay. Yes. From the pulpit, you can help yes. us. Absolutely. Yes. You can mention every Sunday to get your children yes. in school. Yes. You can encourage, you can provide resources. You can adopt a school. You can mm. help to volunteer. Mm -hmm. But it is very important that as pastors, yes. And spiritual leaders, not just pastors in Christian churches, mm -hmm. but we have imams yes. in the Muslim community. Yes. Uh, we have rabbis in yes. the Jewish community. Right. Uh, we have all. We have. We have so many <laughs> wonderful faith representations mm -hmm. that every spiritual leader can push in a sentence. Uh -huh. Make sure your children go to school tomorrow. Yes. And so, count day in Detroit is tomorrow. Okay. Yes. 
And so my prayer is that every child is in school every today. Child. Yes. yes. <laughs> but for sure tomorrow. Many people don't understand how our financial structure is put together from the state through the federal government, okay. which means that every child that's in a seat mm -hmm. is counted. And for every child that's in a seat that's counted, there is money released to the district for that child. Mm. Okay. So if that seat is empty. Mm. My God. That is an My entire God. child yes. that we do not receive money for. Oh and there's so many things that mm. we want to do as a district. Mm. Mm. There's so many needs that we have. Yeah. Social needs, emotional needs, mental health needs, in addition to academic and scholarship. Mm -hmm. And so if that child is missing on count day mm. yes. for the entire year, we don't get money for that child. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that's what Count Day is about. Parents, wow. I'm talking to you right now, yes, and I want you to please. understand. Listen to me. Yeah. Whatever needs you have to get your child to school, especially on Count Day, the district will help you. We have some wonderful, wonderful support teams mm -hmm. that are on standby mm -hmm. to help you get your child. Yes. I want to give a phone number, if that's Come all on. right, Come on. that Absolutely. from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., yeah. you can call our customer service line. Write the number down now. Get a pen. Get right. something to write with. 313-240-4377. They may be able to put it on the screen for you. That's 313 mm -hmm. Two four zero four three seven seven, and and we also have the ability to translate. If you're not an English speaking parent, mm -hmm. or you don't have an English speaking child, if you dial that number, we have the ability to translate, and we can cut through every language My barrier. God. We can provide transportation. We can help you with support. Wow. Maybe it's a bus card. Hmm. Maybe we have to send someone to pick you up. We have amazing parent volunteers. Oh, yeah. Because tomorrow is so important yes. that every child is in the seat. Remember that if a child is not in that seat mm -hmm. on count day, mm -hmm. that means that that seat is not paid for for the rest of the semester. Uh, yeah. So I'm here to talk about count day. Yeah. And I want people to understand. Now, if you have a special needs child, listen to me carefully. Mm -hmm. This district is the only district in the city that takes every type of student. My God. So if the student has special needs, mm -hmm. if the student has certain uh, inabilities or disabilities, mm -hmm. whatever the need is, Detroit Public School Community District, we take every child. Wow. wow. Every, listen, how many children? Every, every child. child. <laughs> no matter what the needs are, yeah. special needs, wherever you are on the spectrum, okay. if there are any other disabilities, if there's anything else that is causing your child to not fit in general population, okay. yes. it is DPSCD. Yeah. Okay. No charter can do this. Come on. No charter takes special needs children. Okay. It is only DPSCD in the city of Detroit okay. that can take all. All, all children. children. So if you are a special need parent, okay. let me give you some information. Call this number. 313-748-6363. Let me give you that number again. It is 313-748-6363. Right. Now, if you want to go to the website, if you're computer savvy, ah. let, write this down. <laughs> www.detroit k12.org forward slash families. Let me give it to you again. Thank you. That's www.detroitk12.org uh -huh. uh -huh. forward slash families. Count day. Got a question for you. Absolutely. When we talk about, I remember going to school. We all went to GPS, right? Yes. Right. And it was so great. You sorry? It was so great that uh, count day wasn't even mentioned because we was always in school. We was in school every day. <laughs> right? It wasn't, you know, matter of fact, we- That's a man Shalanda Right, when we you say no count term. day, you didn't have to mention it because no. we always went to school, rain, mm -hmm. snow, whatever. That's right. And here's what I'm asking, because a lot of parents are always saying, you know, infrastructure, we don't have support. With, well, here's an opportunity for you to yeah. help us get some support. Absolutely. Yes, if absolutely. your children are in school, we can get those dollars. 
and we can do what we need to do to help our children, right? Absolutely. That's right. So there's no excuse, no. right? No. There's no excuse for you not coming to the meetings mm -hmm. and supporting DPS, mm -hmm. right? There's no excuse for you volunteering. Yes. There's no excuse for you walking yes. your child. Oh, you need support. You yes. said you got special needs. You got transportation. You got phone numbers that we're going to push out. Yes. But I'm just saying. The liaisons at the schools. Absolutely. Yeah, with DPS, mm -hmm. one of the biggest you know, biggest schools in the nation. Absolutely. District-wise. That's right. Um, as a matter of fact, I remember on count days when I was a kid, it was so big, we used to have to have auditoriums open because parents actually came to school with Absolutely. their kids on yeah. that day. That's right. And they stayed and volunteered the yeah. whole day. That's right. Oh That's I remember right. that. That's yes. right. So when we talk about yeah, infrastructure. Yeah, those are our parents. That's why you yeah. remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you remember. Well, I'm pushing the fact that a lot of parents say what DPS ain't doing. Yeah. Let's talk about what DPS what is DPS doing. What DPS is doing. And how they can get involved. Yes. Right? Yes. So if you get involved, you'll find out. Absolutely. So we, we need you to show up. We do parent engagement sessions. Uh, Miss Buckman, who is uh, the super, she was very kind about introducing herself. Mm, yes, I know. You know, she went way low on us. Way she low. she went humble. But let me just push what she really does. We know some stuff. She is the superintendent of the Family and Community Engagement Department. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, you got to realize what family and, and community engagement does. Family and community engagement is all about parents and children yes. and meeting the needs where they are. Mm -hmm. okay. So if it's homelessness, do you know we have over 3,000 transient families? My mm -hmm. God. That means that homelessness is on the rise. Yes. Yes. That means that we have foster care children. And that is the department that she oversees. Mm -hmm. And so when you were, when we were doing the, the virtual, we had to do virtual school during COVID, it was family and community engagement that went house to house. Mm -hmm. Over 10,000 homes were visited in a very short period mm -hmm. to make sure that children could connect their computers. Right. Because a lot of our family leaders did not have computer infrastructures. Yes. They didn't have internet. And they, we gave out 50,000 laptops. Wow. But it was family and community engagement mm -hmm. under Ms. Buxman's leadership mm -hmm. that took parent volunteers yes. to the street during mm -hmm. COVID. Mm -hmm. Even the superintendent was in the house <laughs> <laughs> walking Man. the streets. Come on now. And so I want, to, I want to shout out with family. And I'm, I'm on the board, but I found where I can do my work yes. as a community and spiritual leader with family and community engagement. Mm -hmm. And many parents do not know all of the services. Yes. You know, we got health hubs. We got 24-hour services mm -hmm. for people who need food, yes. who can come to the facilities and get clothing, wow. uh, can come to the facility, get shoes, toothbrushes. In the last two years, we've passed out over 25,000 coats mm -hmm. to children okay. who didn't have coats who were below poverty level with some of our partners, we were able to do it. And I could not get anybody else to do it with me but Miss Buckman. Wow. <laughs> it was Miss Buckman that said, look, Bishop, I got you. And sense. we've been rolling in the snow. We were rolling with snow up to our knees. Yeah. And we were passing out coats. We went to shelters and gave out coats. Wow. We went to homes and gave out coats. We went to schools and gave out coats, mm. scarves, gloves. We gave out uh, uh, socks. We had other partners that help us yes. so don't say what we're not doing yes. until you say what we are doing yes. now you can say what we are not perfect in but at least give us credit and for family and community engagement our faith-based leaders and all of those Ooh. partners that work with us yes. I'm, it's under miss buckman's leadership and i want to give a shout out to our superintendent Absolutely. dr nikolai vidi yes. who heard my heart yes. as a faith-based leader and he said, I got the exact department and the person you need to work with. Amen. So I want to shout out to Dr. Vita. And what you felt yes. is the glory of God on him. Yes. The spirit yes. of the Lord is I upon did. that man. I did. And when he comes in a room, when yes. he first came to my church after I was elected, and he came, he said, I want to meet you. I don't know you. I don't even know how you won. <laughs> Amen. And I said, it was the Lord. You need a bishop. You need a faith-based leader. Yes. He said, well, where can I meet you? So he came to the church. Okay. And before he left, I said, Dr. Vitti, would you come in the sanctuary and let me pray for you? Yes. And he did. Amen. Yes. And we have a group of faith-based partner pastors yes. that pray for the superintendent yes. every day. Yes, before COVID, we met with him yes. every month. Mm -hmm. 
in his office and mm. prayed for him. Oh, God. Heard what was on his heart yes. and took it to the Lord in prayer. Yeah, it surely, it surely comes out. I'm telling, okay. and that's what he gives to the children. Yes, yes. That's what he tries to give to this district. Yes, he's brilliant. Yes, yes he's data driven. Yes, he's all of that. Mm. He's a tremendous administrator, mm. but he's a God fearing man. Amen. And so, bring your children yes. to our district, yes. and you yes. will, you will feel that same safety yes. and that same security yes. that comes from God fearing people mm -hmm. that are watching over your children yes. but you'll never know if you don't get your child to school oh count God. day yes. we talk about it now because every day was count day for yes. us That's right. but right. schools will have special events tomorrow yes. there will be food there'll yes. be fun yes. there'll be plays there'll be activities there'll be hot dogs there'll be hamburgers there's all <laughs> kinds of stuff that children oh. love pizza you know we got to have pizza yeah. <laughs> and so there's all kinds of things yes. that principals are preparing for you and your family yes. that your child will be counted and if your child is in the seat yes then that means that equitable funding as un as inequitable as it is yes. that at least we will get money for your child yes. to be educated in our district so we need to be excited about that right? i'm so excited <laughs> what are you talking about it's like a holiday at bcs oh, right tomorrow right <laughs> Right, 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 right. I'm so excited. Get we and the board goes. To, to we go to the schools. And I think we, I like. It. Yeah, we're yeah, in the schools. Yeah. We're, we're the board is out tomorrow. Hey, we're in hey, the schools. We're, not, we're hanging with the principals. Yeah. We're partying. Yeah. We're hustling. Yeah. We're in the auditoriums. We're, yeah. we're in the gyms. We're doing everything yes. we can to get children excited. Yes. Amen. And I believe if they come for count day, yes. they'll come, they come the next the day. day. That's right. <laughs> and, and and even in those of us that's doing after school, we're pushing that today too. Yes. yes. You yes. know, and then we recognize this this recognize the hallmark that it is Valentine's Day. Okay. Oh, yes. Valentine's wow. Day, right? wow. Valentine's Day is about love, right? Wow. God wow. Is love, right? Pastor, that's good. So you think about yeah. you know, what the devil meant for bad. Ooh, that's good. Right? God, come God on. God made it fail. God made right? it fail. So it's, so it's count day, love day. Yeah. It's in order. Yeah, come on. It's in order. That's a good point. That was, that was divinely that's, ordained. And that's the reason we got to do something in the community. That's why at the church we have an event on tomorrow, on yeah. Valentine's Day. Okay. People ask us, why you always do stuff on Because, because... <laughs> People in the neighborhood where, where we pastor, yes. they don't have no money. Yeah. Yes. They don't have the memory we used to have yes. about Valentine's Day yes. and Easter. So we was open on Labor Day. We was open wow. for Christmas Eve. We did um, Thanksgiving brunch. We wow. was we was we was there for a Memorial Day picnic. Right. We did all those things. So Valentine's Day tomorrow, and we have a closed closet in the basement that is so full. Mm. We have no more space. It's like a mall down People, there. It is. Yeah. God has blessed us Literally. to set it up just like a, a just like you in the store. We yeah. call it a shopping experience. Wow. We want them to have a shopping experience. Mm -hmm. So we're inviting people to come out tomorrow from 5 to 8 for free. Wow. Hey Amen. We got, we making pizzas. No cost. Um, we, mm. No cost. Free 9 9. Right. Wow. <laughs> free 9 9. Like right. Okay, so. <laughs> so let they me get can this leave right. the schools and come After to your church. The DPS yeah. piece, yeah. right? Yeah. So first, we all go over to DPS. Uh, At first. Yes. And then we first. Get counted. We're going to get counted right? first. Yeah. And then they come back to school on Thursday. Don't forget. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Yes. And then they got the break next to the following week, right? So let's That's get right. right. The next let's break. Get That's right. There's no reason why. We need your help today. We stopped today. Pause and change stuff around because we need to talk about what we need to talk about. Yes, it's important it's that you. Important. It was all about what's okay and what we want to do. And because of all this, we got we got the only <laughs> only R. J. Watkins on the line. Oh, Amen. Oh, wow. Amen. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Watkins. Mr. Watkins. Sir. How are you? Old school, my ah! old school friend. Super fantastic, RJ. <laughs> Man, where hello. you been? <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Hello, sir. Pastor Bishop. Man, young man. I'm yes. glad to How hear you your doing? voice. Super fantastic, sir. This is a great show. This is one of the best shows. And, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to replay this program several times today Thank to you. help get the word out. Amen. Bless you. And if that works, um, that, that's my contribution. Oh, phenomenal. Oh, wow. Bless you. Oh, my, we'll oh my God. All day. My God. Yeah. We'll play the show all day. He always comes Mr. through. Mr. Watkins, there's he nobody like you. Through. You've always been committed to our community and to our schools. Mm -hmm. And a shout out to you for all you have done. Yes. You don't get honored enough. Yes. You don't We're going to make a, that happen. But thank you so much. Yes. And I'll be back to see you soon. <laughs> okay, my pleasure. 
Well, the, God bless the, you. We're so glad you're on the line yes, today. And yes. you know, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Yes. 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 Amen. There's yes. nobody like you. No. It's only <laughs> one Nowhere. Artist. And Maxine and, and Maxine and yourself, you're doing a wonderful job. Thank wonderful. You. wonderful. We're, awesome. We're so honored to be in your space, yes, in your thank house. You. Thank you for allowing you us built. in your house on yes, today. Absolutely. Amen. Okay. It's it's thank been you. such an honor. Such an honor to have you with us Thank and Miss Buckman yes. with us. Buckman. Woo, woo. Uh, and, you, and if you don't see her at, at um, DPS, um, catch her in the grocery store because she do talk to people in the grocery <laughs> store. <laughs> <laughs> And give okay. people resources. I, I get a chance to hear our testimony. Don't tell them what grocery store, though. <laughs> Don't <laughs> forget. Let me, let me give this phone number out yeah, one more sure, time. Just on. one more time. Right. Because Mr. Watkins is going to broadcast this. I want this to play over and over again. Thank you again, DPSCD parents. Listen, we need your children. Yes, yes ma'am. In school every day. Every day. But particularly on count day. Yes. Now, listen, I'm going to give you this number one more time. You can call this number from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's 313 uh -huh. 240 4377. Okay. Okay. Write it down. Yes, if you please. need transportation, mm -hmm. you need bus cards. Even if you need a little gas. Come on. I like it. Listen to us. We're going to meet whatever <laughs> the need is. Mm -hmm. You know, even if we got to come and get come you. On. We're coming to get you whatever what, whatever you need. Mm -hmm. Dial that number. 313-240-4377. Okay. Now, remember that DPSCD is a multi-ethnic community district. Mm -hmm. So, if you have a language barrier, you're not an English-speaking parent. Mm -hmm. Your child is not an English-speaking child. Mm -hmm. If you dial that number, 313 Three two four zero four three seven seven. 4377 We have people there that can help with translation. Mm -hmm. Also, our special needs children. This go. is so important. So important. Our ESE students, 313-748-6363. Mm -hmm. Or www.detroitk12.org. Uh -huh. Forward slash families. Got it. Get your children to school. Love it. Wonderful. Woo! What a powerful Woo! hour. We did it, y'all, right? Power hour. Yes. And then we're going to close in prayer like we always do. And we just thank you for again for having, for you coming and share with us, yes. um, Bishop, and then our dear sister Solanda, and having a one and only RJ oh, Walker on yes. the line. Wow. And surely having our sister in the background, Miss Maxine Willis yes. from Keys Kids Woo -woo. and MW Productions. Yes. Let's us join. And, and we're going to ask um, Bishop you will close us in prayer absolutely absolutely our great and mighty God the one and only sovereign king of the yes, world God. the one and only king of the universe how we love you and honor you yes, today God. and we thank you for your blessings upon thank this you, broadcast station thank you, God. radio and television upon its founder yes, Mr. R.J. Watkins, yes, and upon God. all of our viewers and our Please. listeners. Yes. And upon our district, Detroit yes. Public School yes. Community yes. District, upon Thank our superintendents you, and our board and yes. our parents yes, and our support staff yes, and all those that make this yes, district God. work. You, Lord. Lord, we ask your blessings yes. and we pray the prayer of protection yes, around all of our schools yes. that none of our children will be violated, harmed yes, or in any way today, yes. that they will be loved and yes. challenged yes. and honored. And we thank you for this broadcast. We ask that the spirit of the Lord yes. would breathe upon us. Yes. Help us each to yes. do the work that you yes. called us to do. Yes. That you would thank be glorified. You, you, and we give you praise oh. in Jesus' mighty yes. name. Amen. Woo -woo. Amen. See Praise you next God. Tuesday, y'all, at 8 a.m. right here. Looking forward to you. All right. Hope to get on that double-dutch bus. Ah, <laughs> get them church vans rolling for the tomorrow. Street. Amen. Woo -woo.